How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another show. This is Yume Roscoe, and of course, I am Roscoe. And today's show, we're going to be doing um, a reaction to the song Drown in My Own Tears by Ray Charles. And uh, we're doing this song because this was actually suggested, suggested by me. <laughs> you know, I, I love this song. Um, I, I wanted to react to it. Um, I've, uh, of course, I know the song and I've heard the song, but I haven't seen this live performance of it. So this performance will be, you know, a raw react, but I'm, I, I'm more than familiar with the song. But before I continue, I just want to ask that anybody who hasn't, that they please subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded of every single time any future shows are being published. And um, we can keep this going. Uh, I don't have a whole much to say as far as intros and all that at this point. We're just going to go ahead and get into it because it's just a dope song. That's a there's a, a tiny just uh in a tiny difference in the way um that this will flow when you hear this as opposed to like a um a studio version of this you know it, it flows differently but still you know i expect it to be super dope sauce on it you know for the live performance you know, it flows differently like i said you know but i ain't, I ain't mad at him for saucing it up you know you want to get get the people something else you know when you live so let's do it <laughs> like a child and then so I'm get to my, my running tears or whatever tears are running wild. This is amazing that that um you know a guy who can't see is able to hold for it like this you know hold the performance together like this um but yeah no i you know 
And that's why, you know, people who have excuses, man, it's like, man, why would you have an excuse if, you know, there's people out here like him who didn't, <laughs> didn't make excuses even when they they had a maybe already made one, you know, so. This, this version, this is, I ain't even on front, like it really drags um, a lot more than the, the studio version. Like I said, like it's um, more fluid. And I could tell at this point right now that I'm more of a fan of the studio version, you know. Um, but, and, that, and that's not to take nothing away from this. Like I said, this is my first time seeing this performance so um we'll keep it going just see what else we got It's almost made me think like he was uh, he was gone at this point and just making up some stuff or whatever. Because <laughs> it's, it's so much different from the from the studio version, you know. Um, you know, the, the essence of this song is still there, you know, but it's just dragging a bit. But let's keep it going. people at that point felt, felt about this performance because you know we think about how we feel about things in the here and now but then um you know because like I, all this stuff about me saying like how it's dragging and all that and, and i know that there's another difference to uh me not being right there in that moment like that's kind of what i was going to say you know uh, this would have probably felt a whole lot different had i been right there in that time <laughs> You know, right there. You know, and also when you take when you taking in music just live anyway, as as opposed to like hearing it like through your headphones or something. You know, you hear it one way through your headphones, but if you was to see that same uh, person or group perform live in front of you, it's gonna sound different. <laughs> you come home baby why can't you come home and to be alone, man. Nobody wants to be alone. But 
you know, let the let the let, let's hear what Charles got to say. That is so so good. You know, when I get up early in the morning, I feel like I'm gonna die in my This is crazy, dude. Now this this day we should have sped up to get to this. Uh, Ray Charles with Drowning Drown in My Own Tears, the live version of it. And um, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth, man. I, I, I dig that performance um, uh, for the most part. You know, um, the fact that it was, it dragged a bit, you know, like, like I said, the studio version of this is, uh, it's a, it's a, it flows a little better, you know, they, they not dragging it out so much, you know, I'm pretty sure this was all for, you know, for, for the live purposes and all that, but yeah, yeah, no, it, it flows a, a, a little bit differently on the studio version and that version, I think you'll get the real essence of like the song and the emotion and like, um, you will you'll, I mean, if you really understand you know, um, just uh, rhythm and blues, R and B music, and all that. There, like you're, you're no man. Like this is your ear should tell you that this is one of the greatest, like, <laughs> like um, rhythm and blues songs, like ever. You know, in my opinion, but that's just me. You know, but um, again, I definitely, definitely would suggest you uh, I, I listen to the studio version. You know, and check that out. You'll get more why I feel the way that I do about this song. But uh, I will throw a thumb up for Ray Charles. He, the, you know, goats gonna always get that. I mean, well, I guess not always, but you know, it's not like goats are uh, just uh, batting a thousand. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? They have some duds in there too. You know, but um, this one right here is like uh, extreme you know, it's high level as far as like uh, amongst his catalog. So uh, great shit, great song. Um, I approve, rest in peace to the GOAT, to the icon that is Ray Charles, that was Ray Charles. And um, there won't be another one like him, or I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, shit, that was Jamie Foxx, <laughs> who came like, like eerily close to 
you know, and his uh his rendition of Ray Charles, man, it was like crazy. It's like, man, is this dude like reanimated or something? But um like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option, pick the one name reaction shows. Uh, watch those shows, like those shows. Make sure you aren't requesting anything that hasn't been reacted to already. We should be good at that point. I'm leaving now. I'm not going to drag this out like Ray Charles did this live performance. I'm leaving. I will see you soon.